This video is going to cover the Heath Carter Somatotype Rating Worksheet, which can be found on uh, Lab 12 of the Exercise Physiology Course Reader. Um, but before we can start working on this, students should ensure that they have done Lab 11, which has the Body Composition Worksheet that has their circumferences, diameters, and skin folds. So this is just a blank worksheet that is for students um, to put their own individual data in. This is a sheet that Dr. Caesar gives you uh, with some you know, example data when he goes over in class, but some students need extra interpretation, particularly the tutoring students that I work with. So this is just for additional clarification in addition to what Dr. Caesar says. So the top here is going to go over somatotype 1, which is endomorphic body. Um, the middle is mesomorphic body, and the bottom is the ectomorphic body type. So there's three. Um, that's just the order that this data sheet is in. So you're going to need the triceps, scapula, superiliac, and calf skin fold. The calf skin fold is actually used down here, but we'll get to that later. So the first three here are in millimeters, and they are added up to a total of 34. The 34 is not on here, but the closest is 33.5. So the number directly under it, 3.5, corresponds with that measurement <clears throat> sum. So down here it's written 3.5 because that's what was measured. And based on the scale, it's 1 to 3 low, 4 to 6 moderate, and 7 to 9 high. So that means that this person has a low to moderate endomorphic quality for their first component. The next is mesomorphic, and so the information needed here is the height in centimeters, elbow diameter, knee diameter, flexed arm circumference, tricep skin fold, which is up here at the top, and the calf circumference and calf skin fold, which is at the top. Here, the numbers seen on the left side of this column are matched up to the closest number on the, on the right corresponding to it. And so you can see 176. There's no particular column for it, so it's right there in the middle, 10 and a half. Um, same for elbow diameter and knee diameter, 6 and a half and 9. Closest is 6.51 and 9.08. Um, the flexed arm circumference and calf circumference is going to be the number you start with, and you're going to subtract the triceps and calf skin fold divided by 10. So the calf skin fold divided by 10. 15 divided by 10 is 1.5. So 35.75 minus 1.5 is 34.25. And this is going to go all the way across to 33.9 because that's the closest to 34.25. And this column equation down here at the bottom it's based on the numbers that correspond. So the elbow, elbow diameter, falls under the 10 category. It's 6.51, but it falls under the 10, so it's going to be a 10. Same for the knee. It's 9.08, falls under the 9 category. It's going to be 9. So you're going to add these up. It's going to be a sum that you get. And then you're going to divide by 4. It's sort of hard to see. It looks like an addition sign, but it's divide. And that'll give you 8.5. Subtracted by your height column, 10.5. And, and then that gives you a negative 2. Once you get that number, you divide it by 2. And that gives you, you know, a range of numbers. But in this case, it's negative 1. And then you're going to add 4, which is a constant. And that gives you the number 3, which is the second component. Um, mesomorphic 3. So this person is a low category for mesomorphic somatotype. For the ectomorphic category you're going to need your weight and your height in centimeters. Um, this here is to the cube root with weight which is a complicated way to find the number that you need which is 44.3 so Dr. Caesar provides in the course reader twenty-eight 
12-12, a scale, you know, similar to the BMI chart, you can put a ruler on your height in centimeters, in this case it was 176, and weight, which was 62.8, and the line drawn across will give you the height divided by the cube over weight, and that'll be on here. So based on the line drawn across um, in this direction, it's around the 44 area. And it's okay it's, if it's a little bit off, just do your best. And that's 44.3 obtained from that scale. It's a little bit blurry. Um, so 44.3, based on that scale that you use using your height and weight, the closest number is 44.5, which is a 4 directly under it. So the third component, which is ectomorphy, is 4. So it's moderate. They're considerate, considered moderate for ectomorphy.